hello everyone and welcome back to my channel again dear friends hope you are all doing well so we are discussing the vector calculus uh, for the triple e students okay uh, subject code is bmat e201 in the previous lecture we had discussed one question on unit normal vector okay i hope you have understood that very well okay if you have not watched it yet you can go through the description box i have provided the link over there right so today i will solve another question uh, that is find the unit normal vector to the surface x y cube z square is equal to 4 at these uh, values are given these points are given this is the x value this is the y value and this is the z value okay so we are supposed to calculate unit normal vector okay as you already know in the previous video i also told you that we have the formula for the unit normal vector that is n cap is equal to delta phi divided by mod of del phi so what is this del phi that is the question so in the question they are giving this scalar function this is called as scalar function which is represented by phi okay so phi is equal to this equation x y cube z square this uh, 4 i am shifting left hand side so it will become minus 4 is equal to 0 this is your phi equation okay whenever you are combining del operator that is differential operator with this phi that becomes your vector quantity then we are dealing with that particular vector quantity we are supposed to calculate the differentiation of that del phi okay this is also called as grad phi okay you should remember so del phi is equal to we have the formula for this del phi now when you are combining del with the phi we have the formula okay so uh, do by sorry do phi by do x uh, i cap plus do phi do phi by do y j cap plus do phi by do z k cap so we are differentiating this phi with re, uh, with respect to x with respect to y with respect to z okay these i j k are the unit vectors okay so del phi is equal to do by do x this phi value we have given in the question that is x y cube z square minus 4 i am writing here so instead of phi i am writing this equation uh, and i cap as it is plus do by do y and we have here phi again so i am writing again the equation x y cube z square uh, minus 4 j cap plus dou by dou z of this phi i am writing again x y cube z square minus 4 k cap okay so uh, delta phi is equal to now in order to differentiate it uh, it with respect to x okay so you should remember we are partially differentiating it so if uh, the x is present over here so we is we are differentiating this x with respect to x so rest of the terms will remain constant with respect to x okay so y and z are a constant with respect to a uh, dou x so i am writing y cube z square as it is and the differentiate differentiation of x is 1 so 1 multiplied by this term will become y cube z square i hope you are getting i cap plus dou by dou y what is the differentiation of this term with respect to y so y term we have to find out so y is here so what is the differentiation of y cube with respect to y so i am assuming that you are good in the differentiation if you are not good in the differentiation part so please let me know in the comment section so that i can make separate basic video for the differentiation over there so y cube differentiation with respect to y is so this is power y cube so power down minus 1 3 minus 1 so your differentiation will be 3 y square for the y cube okay so here we have y cube so its differentiation will be 3 y square so i am writing 3 y square is here and x and z are constant with respect to y so as it is x and z square will be as it is j cap plus uh, differentiation of this term so we are here we have a z we are uh, we are differentiating uh, this term with respect to z okay so uh, x and y cube will be uh, as constant uh, with respect to delta z so we have to take uh, as it is this one x and y cube x and y cube as it is what is the differentiation of z square so it will be power down 2z okay so 2 times z and k cap right this is the differentiation for this term now see here uh, we are uh, calculating at these points so x we have to take minus 1 y we have to take minus 1 z we have to take 2 right which is equal to just put down the value so y value is minus 1 so minus 1 cube z value is 2 so 2 square i cap plus 3 multiplied by x x value is minus 1 y value is minus 1 okay square z value is 2 so 2 square j cap plus 2 multiplied by x value is minus 1 y value is minus 1 again so minus 1 cube z value is 2 and k cap so del phi which is equal to minus 4 so see here minus 1 cube is minus 1 2 raised power 2 is 4 4 multiplied by minus 1 is minus 4 i cap here we have uh, minus 1 uh, square is positive 1 and here we have minus 3 so minus 3 multiplied by 1 is minus 3 and this is your 4 so 3 multiplied by 4 is 12 so minus 12 j cap plus this is your uh, minus 1 cube is minus so minus into minus plus 2 into 2 that is 4 so plus 4 k cap okay so now we have to calculate the mod of this phi okay so mod of del phi is equal to the coefficients of these unit vectors so minus 4 whole square 
minus 12 whole square plus 4 whole square this becomes your mod so which is equal to 4 uh, square is 16 12 square is 144 plus 4 square is 16 so when you calculate it you will get 176 uh, now we can calculate n, uh, n vector that is your unit norm, normal vector we have the formula del phi divided by mod of del phi okay so which is equal to del phi divided by mod of del phi which is equal to del phi we have calculated minus 4 i cap minus 12 j cap plus 4 k cap divided by this mod of phi we have calculated under root of 176 okay so this much is the answer for this particular question i hope you have understood this question very well so dear friends make sure you will share this video with your all batchmates or classmates whatever uh, the groups you have over there okay so that they can find easiness in this uh, vector calculus part okay so i wish you all the best for your future examinations of second sum and also the for internal examinations over there okay thank you